Hi folks, pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson here, and this week's video, which is the second in my sax legend series, we are going to look at Michael Brecker. After 30 years of listening to Michael Brecker, I'm going to cut through all the noise for you, all the deluge of information, and give you the key essentials that you need to know. A bit about his life and times, the fantastic five top tracks, and one key lick from some skunk funk, which is really going to get you inside what it feels like to play like Michael Brecker. Now today's legend is Michael Brecker, as we've already talked about, and we've actually already covered a Michael Brecker song twice <laughs> on this series. Now if you want to check out him playing your latest trick by Dire Straits and how to play that song, you can find the card linked up there. If you like Get Your Sacks Together, please do share the love. It's going to help me reach a bigger audience and enable me to give you more and better content. So subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, click that bell icon. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Go and check out my Instagram and of course, go down into the description, click the link and you will get a free PDF which has got these Michael Brecker excerpts written out and the top five listed for you to find his fantastic five. That's great. I'm going to have the Michael Brecker solo for tenor and alto, so that PDF is really worth getting. So just before we learn our amazing Michael Brecker lick, let's learn a little bit more about the life and times of the man behind the sax. Born in 1949 in Philadelphia, American tenor saxophonist Michael Brecker rapidly became one of the most identifiable and ubiquitous saxophonists the world has ever known. His devastating technical ability and incendiary jazz virtuosity, whilst universally admired, never overwhelmed his sense of taste and context, allowing him to become one of the most sought after and respected session players of all time, revered for his accurate sight reading, perfect intonation, and melodically memorable solos. In 2007, at age 57 and still at the height of his powers, Brecker's life was cut tragically short when he died of a rare blood disorder after no matching donor could be found on the International Bone Marrow Registry. Instead of fearing and rejecting the popular music of his early years, as many other jazz musicians did, Mike Brecker embraced the influences of rock and R&B, fusing them with his jazz roots in his first band Dreams, with Billy Cobham and, most notably, his seminal Brecker Brothers band, who stayed together from 1975 to 1982. As the name suggests, this band featured his brother, trumpeter Randy Brecker, who he always looked up to. The two brothers have had a close and lifelong musical relationship through his life. After playing with seminal jazz fusion band Steps Ahead, from 1987 Brecker would go on to front his own band, recording nine albums, eventually receiving 15 Grammys as a performer and composer. If you think you've never heard Mike Brecker before, think again. If I tell you he'd recorded with James Taylor, Paul Simon, Steely Dan, Dire Straits, Lou Reed, Eric Clapton, Billy Joel, Aerosmith, Frank Sinatra, James Brown, Bruce Springsteen, Cameo, Shaka Khan, The Average White Band, Herbie Hancock, George Benson, and countless others that I'm confident you've heard him play, whether you know it or not. Most famously, he plays the legendary solos on Your Latest Trick by Dire Straits, covered on this channel, by the way, Still Crazy After All These Years by Paul Simon, Candy by Cameo, and The Wicked Native New Yorker by Odyssey. Musically speaking, Brecker was grounded in the hard bop tradition of Sonny Rollins, but was heavily influenced by the shifting pentatonic and harmonics pioneered by John Coltrane. Combined with the strong blues and soul sound of players like Junior Walker and King Curtis, and a distinctive bright cutting tone, he would quickly go on to forge his own unique and instantly identifiable sound that would be widely copied by every generation of sax players since. A modest, self-effacing and introverted character, Brecker battled drug addictions with cocaine and heroin in the early part of his career, eventually coming clean in 1981 after a six-month sabbatical from playing. He later settled down and started a family with the love of his life, wife Susan. If you want raw excitement and energy, phenomenal technique and some of the most memorable sax lines of all time, go and check out Mike Brecker. You will not regret it. Now you know a little bit more about the man behind the sax, 
let's have a look at a little bit of footage of Michael Brecker in full flow. Now this is from the tune Nothing Personal, which is a minor blues, and it's from the Newport Jazz Festival in 1987. Check this out. As with all the amazing saxophones on the legends wall behind me there, it's almost impossible to choose one lick because they just play so much good stuff. However, we've got to do it. So what I went with in the end, after umming and ahhing with loads of different licks, is this amazing lick that he plays on one of their most famous tunes called Some Skunk Funk. But not the studio version, this is the live version from the album Heavy Metal Bebop. Now, he uses this wah-wah effect on his sound, so he's almost like a sort of Jimi Hendrix style wah-wah attack on the sax. It's blisteringly fast, it's chromatic, he goes these amazing step-down phrases um, with major triads, and then the whole thing resolves with a really funky, cool minor pentatonic, which sums up his whole style. So without further ado, let's have a little listen to the lick that we're gonna copy today. Now, it might surprise you there's even a saxophone because it sounds with this wah-wah effect, but here it is, check it out. Now this lick starts on the second sixteenth note of the bar and it goes like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> to make it simple, because it's quite a long line, I've broken this phrase, the whole phrase, into four segments, four individual segments. Now, if you go down into the description and print off the PDF and follow it along, that's gonna make life a lot easier as we learn this blistering lick. It's not easy, of course, but you can learn it slow and then build up gradually. So, segment one, which is mainly chromatic, sounds like this, played much slower. Now, here's that first segment played a bit faster. The second segment, which is made up of major triads descending in tones, sounds like this, played nice and slowly. Now here's that second segment played faster. The third segment, which goes back to the chromatic kind of sound of the first segment, sounds like this played nice and slowly. And remember, this entire phrase is all just over a concert F minor jam, which is G minor for sax. So that's the tonality of the whole thing. And he throws these chromatic shapes right on top of that G minor. So here is the third segment played slowly. Mm -hmm. 
Now here's that third segment played faster. Finally, the last segment, the fourth segment, he resolves the tonality back to the G minor pentatonic on tenor, which is the home key, and he plays this wicked line. This is the fourth segment played slowly. Now here's that fourth segment played a bit faster. Okay, cool. So stringing together all four segments, we can now play the whole line. Now remember, it might take you quite a bit of time <laughs> to get up to speed, but it's going to sound something like this. A recording career Michael Brecker has had. Almost impossible to know what to choose, but I've had to do it, so I've chosen these fantastic five tunes for you to check out. Number one is Some Skunk Funk from the album Heavy Metal Bebop by the Brecker Brothers. It's not the original studio version, which is also amazing, but this is the one that we've just learned the lick from to this. From the album Heavy Metal Bebop, and it's called Some Skunk Funk with electric sax, blistering solo, killer track. Number two is a tune called Faulty Tenors from the album Smoking in the Pit by Steps, the band that went on to become Steps Ahead. This is recorded live in Japan. This was probably the album that got me into jazz in the first case when I listened to a tune off that album called Teabag. I was hooked on sax for good. So check out Faulty Tenors, 1978. It's absolutely blistering classic Brecker. Number three is the famous tune Candy by the band Cameo. I wanted to choose one of his most famous pop songs of this solo which is built up with lovely little thematic pentatonic riffs. One of his great examples of playing really melodically and simply in a pop context but super funky as well. So go and check out Candy by Cameo, that's number three. Number four of the Fantastic Five is a tune called Quartet Number no. Two, Part Two, dedicated to John Coltrane from the album Three Quartets by Chick Corea with him as a sideman. This is really Coltrane influenced stuff. It sounds a little bit like Love Supreme. Some of the best Brecker I've ever heard. It's amazing, so go and check out this one. And finally, number five is the standard My One and Only Love from his debut solo album, Michael Brecker, the self-titled album, Michael Brecker. It's got an amazing solo cadenza at the start, and it really shows off that he's not all just barnstorming, blistering tenor, and he actually plays amazingly beautiful ballads as well. So go and check out My One and Only Love. Not sure if that album is still in print. I couldn't find it on Spotify, actually, but see if you can track it down, get it on CD or something and listen to that. The whole album's amazing, but check out that track, number five. So that's it for this week. We have got through a lot of stuff, learning about the life and times, the top tracks, and an amazing lick by the one and only Michael Brecker. Now, I've already covered a bit of Michael Brecker with your latest trick. I linked that card at the start of the video. But in my third part of the transcription series, which is a hard transcription, I also cover one of his incredible licks from Night Flight, and you can find that video linked up on the card there. If you like what you're seeing on the channel, please do subscribe, click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Click the thumbs up, put a comment in there. I'd love to hear from you, love that interaction. Don't forget, I've got my Instagram. There's some funky stuff on there. And of course, the free PDF, which is linked in the description below, has got the full transcription of that Michael Brecker lick, plus a list of his top five tracks, a really good resource. So head down to the description to get that PDF. And I'll see you for more amazing saxophonic content on Get Your Sax Together. See you next week. Bye.